next thing I'm going to demonstrate <laughs> with Nigel is uh, working on handling and actually touching um, their face, their ears, and their head. And again, like I explained in the first video, um, the reason I like to do this with clients is to make sure that we're not adding any extra stress when it comes time to put the muzzle on the dog. So, um, there are some dogs respond very well to the passive hand procedure. And again, the passive hand would be, this hand is up here, and then I lure the dog through. This hand doesn't move, and I just lure the dog underneath. So they get comfortable with this hand touching them. And again, this hand is completely neutral. But for some dogs, having a hand looming over their head actually is quite stressful. And so uh, starting with this step can be a little too much for the dog. So I'm going to show you with Nigel. And again, Nigel is he's very comfortable with handling. So you make for a good demo dog because I can show you all of the steps. So <clears throat> instead of doing the passive hand, you can also uh, Experiment with touching in a neutral area, and then if the dog is comfortable, then you can migrate to more problem areas. Let me show you what I mean. So, for many dogs, they're comfortable having chest rubbed and chin rubbed. It feels really good for them. So I can start out like this, and again, yeah, you can see that there's a bit of reaching, right? So that's why we do the reaching practice first, so that isn't um, causing any stress. And then the entire time that I am petting him, uh, he's getting food. And then of course, once the pets stop, then the treats stop. And I can give him a little break. Um, and then I would continue with this step until basically the dog looked like Nigel does now. Completely comfortable, completely happy. Um, and no, he knows he, that he can anticipate food when he feels my hand touching him. And again, he would reach underneath and give just some gentle chin rubs. So I'm not doing anything really exciting, really stressful, just giving nice massages. Okay, so then the next step, remember we want to migrate so that we can touch the dog around the ears, around the face, and around the snout like that, good boy. Um, because those are the areas that we're gonna to have to be touching when we put the muzzle on him. So what I can do is I can then start reaching here, and then the next step would be migrating a little bit to the side. So I start in the neutral area, and then I'm going to migrate maybe just scratching their neck. Again, I'm doing nice pets, nothing scary, nothing, you know, no really big restraint, just nice pets. And then once I stop petting, the food stops. The dog is comfortable with that. Of course, you can start, you can reach like this, just like I did in the beginning, and then maybe you can migrate maybe behind one ear, maybe behind the other ear. Again, depending on your dog, this may take a while. It may take a week or two or more. Um, again, you don't want to push ahead if you see any flinching or any stiff body. You want them to be completely relaxed and comfortable like Nigel is. Um, and this is a nice way to initiate touch for a very sensitive dog. So again, instead of initiating the touch coming from above like this, which can be stressful for many dogs, you just start underneath the chin, do nice rubs, and then you migrate to the ears, to the other ear, you can migrate to the snout. Again, Nigel is very comfortable with handling, so he makes for a great demo of all the steps. And then once the touch stops, the flow of treat stops. And again, just like before, plenty of space behind. Um, I'm somewhat angled in toward Nigel, but you can always angle yourself like this. So when you start the reach, you're not reaching toward them into their space, to the side. Um, and I am practicing this with Nigel in a down position. If he were to get up, if he were to explore his environment or decide that he needed to take a break, that would be absolutely fine. Um, I want him to communicate with me if he wants to keep training or if he needs to take a break. Um, 
and that way I know that he is enjoying the process and he's also okay and he's not stressed out. Okay? Good boy.